Welcome back. At this point, we have everything we need to know to build a pretty amazing web application. Sure, there are other bits and pieces here and there that you could pick up, but we are looking pretty good. So we're now at the point where we can look at deploying our application. But the first thing we need to do is add our code to GitHub. The reason for this is because when we deploy it, we actually deploy it from GitHub. So I won't waffle on too much, but you're going to need a GitHub account. I'll put the links for everything you need down below, but create a GitHub account, log into your GitHub account. Once you've got your GitHub account, we're going to have to run a few commands in our terminal. So come over to your project. I'm just going to close these down so it's clear what's going on. Clear that. So first thing we need to do is create a local repository. So I'm going to put a link to this web page in the description, but it's very simple. There's just a few commands we need to run. So the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize a Git repository. So we're just going to run this command. So we've initialized an empty Git repository locally, and we just want to add all of our code to that repository. So we're going to say git add. Git commit. And then we're going to push that to an external repository on GitHub. But first, we need to create that repository. So let's have a little look at what we need to do for that. Adding a local repository. We'll actually just create it in our GitHub account. So I'm going to say create repository. We're just going to call it courses. I'm going to make it private. We don't want a readme and we do not want a git ignore. And we're just going to say create repository. And now we have a repository on GitHub. So we want to look at how we push our local repository code to this remote repository. So we basically need to look, we need to get this address, but we need to run a command. So we're going to say git add remote origin and then we're going to copy that and paste it in so git remote add origin and then we want to copy the remote origin which is this so copy that paste that there run that now we need to verify that that has actually worked so we're going to say git remote dash v. We can see it has worked because we've got that response there. And then we're going to push our local code to that remote repository. Let that run. Just wants to verify. So we're going to authorize Visual Studio Code to do that. And that has now pushed our code to our GitHub repository. You can close that down. Go back to your GitHub repository. And we can see we've got this here. Now, if we refresh it, we're going to see all of our code appear magically here. And I say all of our code. It's not actually all of our code because this is a key point. If you come to a file here called git ignore in our local repository, it tells git which files to ignore, so which ones to not add. So if we have a look here, git ignore, and one key one you're going to see here is public slash build. And this is all of our build files. So this is actually going to make it difficult for us to deploy, uh, or it's going to mean that we have to run a function on our server, not run a function, run a command on our server. I personally don't like doing that. So what I'm going to do is delete that. So public slash build, save that. And now we can run npm run build. And that's going to create all of our build files in this build folder here. And once it's built, once this is finished doing its thing, we can then add all of those files and upload those to our remote Git repository also. And the reason we do that is because when we pull that code back down from our Git 
repository, GitHub repository, sorry, remote one, to our hosting environment, we need it to include those build files because those are the most important files. Um, and if we don't remove that from Git ignore, we're not going to be able to push them to our GitHub repository and therefore we're not going to be able to pull them down because they're not going to exist there. Um, so that's run its course. So now we can say git add and if you just put a little asterisk, it'll add everything. Git commit and you can put a little message and you can say added build files, removed build files from git ignore. So this is just for your reference. And then you say git push, it's gonna push all of that code back up to your GitHub repository. So we will now, if we go to public, we're gonna see the build folder here, which was not there before. Just to take my word for it, it wasn't there because it was in the git ignore. And now you have that there. So we're well on our way to being able to deploy our application. See you in the next video.